Roblox has released a new official game called the Roblox Career Center. A few days ago, Roblox introduced their latest game which even features free items, so let's take a look at what it's all about. Well, the trailer is certainly scary to say the least, but thankfully the game isn't that scary, at least for the most part. The game opens up in a similar fashion with an intro featuring a massive Arthro horde running around everywhere. Thankfully the game itself is mostly quite nice and thankfully isn't full of ugly Arthros unnecessarily everywhere. So upon entering the building you're met by the manager Karen, and yes the manager's name is actually Karen, who would have thought? Karen kind of serves as a guide and a welcome bot but doesn't really do much other than show off new Roblox tech. And showcasing new tech is definitely the main reason Arthro is being used for the NPCs and we'll get into that a little more later. Anyway, upon exploring the lobby a little bit, you'll find this little display of 5 different Roblox users. You've got 4 of Roblox's all time great users and then Alex Neutron, which is quite surprising to see in an official Roblox game knowing his history. I'm not sure why those 5 people are there, but all I know is that Roblox probably shouldn't want this game's target audience learning about Alex Neutron or Meep City. Exiting the lobby you'll find the Technology Center, a space with different areas showcasing new tech and what it's like working for Roblox. It features multiple videos, which are quite uncommon, meaning this room might account for like half of the videos on Roblox. Next there's this small little courtyard which includes a nice tribute to Eric Castle. After that is a random bubble tea shop that's run by an NPC so sadly you can't go all 2018 boho cafe or frappe on whoever's running it. Circling back around is the library, a place that contains a whole lot of reading about job opportunities at Roblox. There are quite a few incomplete books to read but some that are complete are long enough to be small books on their own. Inside it there's a podcast area where you can actually listen to David Bazuki's podcast within the game which is a pretty neat feature I really like. There's a little arcade that features some test game meant for this game's actual target audience. Then the last useful area is the interview center, which is pretty self-explanatory as it's a place where you can interview people. It reminds me a whole lot of those roleplay group interview centers except there's nothing stopping you from interrupting people with these ones. In it you can find David Bazuki and if you go talk to him you can go on some little quests to get yourself some free stuff. The quest I did was the avatar learning one where you go to different stops around the map to learn about Roblox avatar evolution. The three stages are R6, R15 which for some reason has an Arthro avatar displayed in it, and Arthro. What's most surprising to me is that the Arthro one actually says the style most commonly associated with Roblox avatars is the blocky style. It doesn't try to over glorify Arthro as a lot of y'all would probably expect, it is simply realistic about things which is nice to see. Also, fun fact, whoever designed the graphics for those designed it after the Roblox trading cards given out at BloxCon 2013. Once you're done your quest, you go back to Bazooki where he'll give you 100 Robolts, which you can spend at the Yuji store by the bubble tea stand. The cool part here is that whatever you buy in the store you also get in your actual inventory, so basically you choose your free prize. I chose the toque which was automatically put on my avatar in game and dropped into my inventory for me to wear anywhere else. Overall the game is a fun little time for Roblox users, but this game really isn't meant for us, it's targeted towards other people. Roblox Career Center is definitely meant for new users who are either looking to work for or work with Roblox and new Roblox employees. That's why there is such an emphasis on technology and the Roblox workplace because Roblox is trying to appeal to potential employees and partners. That's also why the NPCs are Arthro, because that's how Roblox can show off the newest tech, although all the Arthro in the trailer and intro is just a little unnecessary. The game is basically a recruitment center more than an event game or anything like that, although this does have multiple free items. Roblox makes this game's intentions clear throughout the blog post about it, calling it a place for early career candidates and it being a new way to experience recruiting. Even though it's not a place meant for the average Roblox player, it's still a fun place to go check out and maybe get some free stuff in. 
What do you think of Roblox's latest official game? Comment your thoughts and leave a like on your way out.